Okay, these questions on the feral cats, so we're going to do this uh, all in one fell swoop, so it'll be raw. So, first question. How are outdoor or stray cats harmful, harmful to wildlife? Um, outdoor cats or cats that are, that are pets and allowed to stray or released outside do present a problem. They bring sacrifices to their, their owners. They also kill and eat some, some wildlife birds and rodents. Um, but as compared to feral cats that actually are living outside, basically wild, um, a recent study by Smithsonian shows that they can kill upwards of 21 billion small mammals in a year's time just in the United States, and approximately four to five billion songbirds. So that's pretty impressive. It's actually a pretty horrific figure. Um, so feral cats are pretty high up there on the invasive and, and detrimental species to the environment. Um, domestic cats or feral cats, which are more harmful. Um, obviously the feral cats, um, they spend the most time outdoors. Not only, like I said, do they, they hunt and they're, look, they're like crazy ninjas. They kill everything. They entertain themselves um, as well as, as eat uh, a large amount of, of small mammals and birds. So feral cats, pretty horrific. Um, do cats affect um, the ecosystem more or less than other invasive species? Really invasive, uh, invasive feral cats are considered probably one of the largest problems worldwide because there are so many. Just in the state of Florida alone, about 10, 15 years ago, Florida Wildlife Commission estimated that there were 15 to 20 million just in the state of Florida alone. There are probably in the order of billions if not trillions of feral cats worldwide. So it's a huge, huge issue. If you take that 21 billion small mammals just in the United States in a year's time and extrapolate that around the world, that is an almost unfathomable number. It's so big. Um, five, what's the most invasive species on the planet? Nasty humans. Hairless, dirty apes. We destroy everything we touch. We alter the ecosystem and the environment in a massive way um, that we just can't seem to get a hold of. Um, so without a doubt, uh, humans are the most invasive species out there. Um, what other ways can cats be harmful to the environment uh, or to wildlife? Besides just predation, um, you've also got the spread of diseases. Um, one of the worst, uh, or actually two, is, is feline leukemia, um, even feline AIDS, I guess, and, and toxoplasmosis um, is a huge issue. And toxoplasmosis is a, is a protozoa, um, species Toxoplasma condii, and it's transmitted through either contact with feces of a cat or raw meats or, or undercooked meats. Um, it can be passed to humans, it can be passed to almost every warm-blooded mammal. Um, so it's a huge issue in the environment. But one of the really major things in our area is obviously the endangered uh, Florida panther. Real issue with um, that transfer of toxoplasmosis to, to wild cats, bobcats, cougars, Florida panthers, uh, and the like, as well as other animals. Um, it's, uh, it's a huge deal and, and probably one of the most significant um, issues besides just the destruction uh, of wildlife itself for feral cats. Um, greatest contributor to stray cat populations, dirty humans, like I mentioned before. Um, we have them as pets, we let them go, we let them breed outside. Little blue-haired old ladies love to take care of them and feed them and perpetuate the, the populations, these feral cat populations that are sometimes in the hundreds strong just in one location um, they think they're doing a good thing but in reality they're they're causing mayhem for wildlife um, as we discussed so that's a huge deal um, let's see trap and release programs what are they good for they're good to make humans feel better about what we think we're doing and helping the environment the reality is if you're going to spend that much time energy and money and you're going to trap a feral cat why would you neuter it or spay it and then release it so it has an additional six, seven, eight, nine, ten years to uh, to kill and wreak havoc uh, on songbirds and small mammals, snakes, lizards, you name it. Um, so really, the money would be better spent. As tough as a decision this is, is if you're going to capture those animals, 
humanely euthanize them. It's a tough world out there for them anyway. Um, they're getting hit by cars, they're getting killed by coyotes. Um, it, you know, it's, it's not the greatest life out there for them. So if you're going to spend that time and energy, 